So this is our gear that I laid out on the bed before we left for Unicoi Gap on day nine. Good morning. Yeah, we just got dropped off at Unicoi Gap. And this is uh, Wednesday, I think. It is freezing. Oh, super cold. Um, the shuttle driver told us that this section was the hardest in Georgia. This next 17 miles. So, oh God, my hand hurts. So, I don't know, we've got several days of food. So, we might get off at Dix Creek. I'm not sure, but we have enough food, I think, to make it to Franklin. But if it's as hard as what Grace was saying, then it might take us longer. I'm not out here to destroy myself, so if I have to walk shorter days in order to get this section done, then that's just what I have to do. But look at where in Media Rock Garden. Let's drop my pole. Made the boy put on his ring gear because it is cold. Woo! It's freezing. You don't want to put your hoodie on? It would really, really help. It helped me a lot. Not that hoodie, the ring gear hoodie. Can it help you? No. My legs don't want to move. Your legs don't want to move? Because they're cold. And we've sat for two days. So. Here we go. The hardest section in Georgia. <sighs> there could be tears. But we'll be sure to keep it real. Okay. So we stopped to take a little break. Um, it is warming up. We've warmed up a little. So the sun is out over here, but just peeking over that edge up there. We're at like 33, is that what I said? 3,300 foot and we've got to make it to 4,000 in the next mile. So, yeah, it's a situation. We're gonna do it though. We're gonna make it. We're probably not gonna make it as far as what I wanted to make it today, but the goal right now is just to get to Trey Mountain Shelter. Probably where a lot of people are at today. Um, <clears throat> but somebody said that there was a campground or a campsite uh, one of the people who rode with us in a shuttle said there was a campsite just before Trey Mountain that had an amazing view, so we might stop there. We'll see. Um, taking a couple zeros and then coming out and doing the hardest part in Georgia maybe was not a good decision. Or maybe it was. Maybe our bodies needed the rest, and so this is not going to be as difficult as it would have been had we had just went straight through. So we'll see. So, we just walked up. How far do we walk up? What? Like 800. Seven, 800 feet? In what? A mile? Less, Less than a mile? And we did it on a breakfast. So, there's some crunched up Pringles. And there's my trail mix. And the boy's got some, uh... Chili ramen. Chili ramen. I'm enjoying some... Some chili ramen. Coffee with, uh... Mm. What are those things called? Breakfast. The breakfast smoothie thing, Jiggers. Uh, essential powdery things. Those things. Uh, breakfast essentials from Camishan. Yeah. Or so maybe we'll have enough energy to get to the top of this thing. And, oh, and I took like, I took some pills. My left foot's hurting. <laughs> <clears throat> it's the only time in life when eating Pringles for breakfast is a go. Yeah. So, we're resting and we're eating our breakfast. And then we're going to walk up this guy right behind us.
craziness. Yeah, it's amazing how some trail mix, a little bit of Pringles, a Swiss roll, and a leave, two Tylenol, and a double shot of coffee <laughs> make you feel like a million bucks. Trucking up this mountain like I know what I'm doing. I even beat the boy at the mountain. There he is. Sup? You feel better? Yeah. A lot more energy? Yeah. Yeah, me too. Yeehaw. Can I have my straw? What? Straw. I don't know where he's in your pocket. There's a guy coming behind you. You just dropped the other straw. Where? Right there. Oh. All right. Oh. And a little garbage over there to the left. What? Pick that up. You got I thought you were my cosmic brownie wrapper, I'm not sure. How was that? Was that easier going up than before? Me too. It was still a beast. So I had to take a break. My legs are like... Spaghetti? No, they're like super tight right now. Oh, stretch them out. Even though I've already stretched. Alright, like, right, you guys. No, it's not a guy, it's we'll, a woman. We'll check. we'll check back with you when we get to going downhill. So we made it to the top. I think we're about to start walking down the back side of Trey Mountain. Left chicken. Here's really here's the top. I mean, but we're almost at the top. That is a cool looking mountain over there. Super cool. And the sun. Man, boy did I need that breakfast. Changed my life. So, anyway, here we go. So, we just took about an hour break and I propped my feet up against a tree, took my shoes and socks off. And uh, while we were there, a guy came along in an SUV and um, he's headed up to the next gap to bring us some trail magic. So that'll be nice. Look at this tree. The most incredible thing ever. I love the AT trees. That thing is cool. Looks like an elbow. So, chicken has left me like usual. But that's okay. Because I had a rest. And while that guy stopped to tell us he was bringing trail magic, he gave us a Dr. Pepper and a Coke. Woo woo. So, I feel like a new person. I can tell that I'm getting stronger physically. And um, as long as I have the calories to burn, um, there's a smile on my face. I only lose the smile when I burned all my calories out and I need to stop and eat something. But whew, up here at about 3,500 foot and gotta go up to like 4,200. So here we go.
it disappears. It's gone. So I guess it goes down in there. And then it goes away. It's kind of cool. Talk about an easy water source. So we're coming up on Trey Gap, and um, there's trail magic. Yeehaw! <laughs> Food that's free. So, like every day, there has been something that was really just the hardest thing I've ever done, ever. Um, and today, Trey Mountain, not really the hardest thing I've ever done. Today, I don't have the hardest thing I've ever done, but I might have a record of how much I've ascended because we went up from Unicoi Gap, like 900 feet, then back down like 900 foot. And now we're going back up like, I don't know, thousand foot not sure but um, we're fixing to go or we're fixing to get to the highest elevation I've ever hiked which I think it's about 4400 so kind of surprised that I can breathe good even though I'm walking uphill I still can and I'm 44 foot above sea level but I'm still being able to breathe pretty good. <clears throat> you see, it's gotta go, gotta go up there. So here's a pretty good view. Almost 360. Yeah. Is there? So I guess there's a view. I'll show you the view in just a second. I think there's some more. I think we're at the top. Yeah. Pretty sure. Hopefully. I feel like that's probably about due south. Wow. Skunk. Oh, another view. Okay, another view. Let's go check it out. It's not as good as that one, but it's pretty good. Okay. It's got a huge mountain over here. Wow, that is that a good view. Freaking mountain over there. Wow. I bet we walk over those. Mm, maybe. Good. I just love how it's those line of mountains over there. I like how it's just bumpity, uh, like rows of bumps. I like how it's just those, those that section of uh, that no, no, section no, no, of no, mountains. No, 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 no. That section of mountains. Yeah. And then it just cuts off. You can't see past them. We made it. Well, I mean, almost. 
that we made it to. Is this Trey Mountain Shelter? Yep. Trey Mountain Shelter. Boy, what a day. My feet need some elevation for sure. Whew. I was just informed by Chicken that tomorrow is, quote, gonna be easy. <laughs> we'll see. But I can tell that I'm getting stronger. And I can also tell that my lungs are getting stronger. So, that's a good thing. However, I will say special thanks to the bread man who gave us that trail magic down at Trey Gap. Because literally, that Coke and that brat and candy bar, I feel like that just got me over Trey Mountain. So, plus, you know, every meal provided is a meal that doesn't have to come out of our backpack and a dollar saved. So, anywho, all right, you guys, I'll show you the setup once we get here and get all set up. I've been really kind of bad about not showing the shelter or the tent set up. So, we're here early enough and I still have enough energy. So, I will update you guys when we get all set up. So, over there is the shelter, but there's a lot of people there and I'm not really sure how they would feel about being on video. So, I'll have to just take a picture of it in just a little bit. But you can kind of see. And our tent is kind of right there. And there is the shelter. Um, and here's the privy. So. <sighs> okay, you guys. So, what is today? Day what on the trail? Five, six? Mm, what? No, like the eighth. Maybe the ninth? No, on the trail, though. Not the zero. Oh. Eighth or ninth? <laughs> I don't know what day. Wait, let me, I can check my phone. But it's the end of the day hey. of um, the, the tray, right? The tray mountain day. We have mashed potatoes with Velveeta cheese. It was delicious, and we we kind of burrito wrapped them with a um, giant piece of salami. Totally good. Um. But I'm cold, so we're in our tent and snuggled up with two hot water bottles. And we're watching the sun go down from the opposite direction. We're looking toward the yep, east. Our eighth day. And it's so pretty. So we should get a... Um, really pretty sunrise tomorrow uh, coming right through my door so I'm excited about it but anyway I, I've not been very good about telling you guys good night and ending the day with a video so I'm gonna try to do better I noticed that as I was um, editing my first week so I'm gonna try to say good morning and good night and um, Thank you guys for watching and supporting our channel and supporting our Instagram and our Facebook. And thank you for everyone who um, financially supports us in our endeavors to make it to Katahdin. We really appreciate it because literally we couldn't do it without you guys. So if there's anyone out there that is interested in um, donating to us, uh, you can buy merchandise from our store or uh, we have a Venmo and a PayPal and a Patreon account. So if anybody's interested and wants to um, support our journey, just let us know. Anyway, thanks and good night.